Hi again. My name is Dan Derry and I'm the president of the Institute of Fulfilled Eschatology. Welcome back to Answers on Eschatology. In this video, what I want to do is I want to look at Hebrews 8.13 again and just connect that to a couple other texts which bring out the significance of the Old Covenant <clears throat> still being in transition and uh, ready to vanish away, as Hebrews 8.13 says, and what that meant in the first century, as well as what it means today. So before we jump into Hebrews chapter 9, which will more than likely be our next video, I would like to bring out some powerful points regarding Hebrews 8.13. So if you recall in Hebrews 8.13, the writer of Hebrews <clears throat> said that in speaking of a new covenant, he had made the old one obsolete, and what was becoming old and ready to vanish away, sorry, and what was being made obsolete and becoming old was ready to vanish away. So the old covenant and the old covenant system, which was obsolete in the sense of forgiving sin and of making atonement, was becoming obsolete and growing old through fulfillment. And because it was being fulfilled, it was ready to vanish away. But here's the thing. Catch this. The Old Covenant was growing old and ready to vanish away. But in Matthew chapter 5, 17 and 18, which we, which we touched on in a previous video, listen to what Jesus says. He says that none of the law and the prophets, which constituted the Old Covenant, would pass away until it was all fulfilled. This is the same as saying the Old Covenant wouldn't pass away. None of the Old Covenant would pass away, not a jot or tittle, until it was all fulfilled. Okay? But the writer of Hebrews, 30-something years later, says the Old Covenant was ready to pass away. It was ready to vanish away. That's the same as saying every jot and every tittle were ready to vanish away. What this means is that, listen carefully, since Jesus said the Old Covenant, every jot and every tittle of the Law and Prophets couldn't pass away until it was all fulfilled, but Hebrews writer says the Old Covenant, the Law and the Prophets were ready to vanish away. That means that every jot and every tittle were about to be fulfilled in order for it to pass away. Are you with me? In the, in, the, in the time when Hebrews was written, this means that all prophecy was on the verge of being fulfilled in order that the Old Covenant could pass away, which Hebrews 13 says was ready to pass away. Okay, if you're with me on that, we should expect to find somewhere in the scriptures that places the, the fulfillment of all prophecy somewhere near the time that the book of Hebrews was written. And that's exactly what we find, guys. This is amazing. Go with me to Luke chapter 21. Listen to the words of the man. These are the words of Jesus. You can take this to the bank. <clears throat> Watch this. But when you see, sorry, Luke chapter 21, verses 20 and 22. But when you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, then, then recognize that her desolation is near. Verse 22, because these are the days of vengeance so that all things written would be fulfilled. Did you catch it? In the days when Jerusalem was surrounded by armies, when the Rome surrounded Jerusalem, those would be the days of vengeance. And at that time, all things written would be fulfilled. The law and the prophets. The entire Old Covenant corpus, everything inside the Old Covenant would be fulfilled surrounding the destruction of Jerusalem in AD 70. And look what Jesus said in verse 32 of, Matthew, of Luke 21. <clears throat> so when you see these things happening, sorry, verse 31 and 32, 
recognize that the kingdom of God is near. Truly I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things be fulfilled. Jesus places the fulfillment of all things written, verse 22, within his generation, verse 32. This corresponds, this fits perfectly with Hebrews 8, 13 and Matthew 5, 17 and 18. Man, do you guys catch this? Let me just repeat the, the argument or the reasoning one last time because this is so powerful. Hebrews 8.13 says it, in 62 or 63 AD, somewhere around there, when Hebrews was written, the writer of the Hebrews said that the old covenant was ready to pass away. It was, it was growing old and ready to vanish away. But Jesus said, that the law and the prophets or the old covenants wouldn't pass away until all things were fulfilled, until every bit, jot, and every tittle of that old covenant was fulfilled. Therefore, if the old covenant was vanishing away and growing old, as Hebrews writer says, then every jot and every tittle must have been on the verge they must have been near to being fulfilled. And Jesus says in Luke 21 that within his generation, all things written would be fulfilled and they would be fulfilled in the days of vengeance surrounding the destruction of Jerusalem in AD 70. Guys, this is powerful, powerful evidence that there was a first century covenantal transition taking place between 30 and 70 AD. And in 70 AD, that transition was consummated and all things written were fulfilled. And when all things written were fulfilled, the new covenant was fully established and the old covenant was removed, rendered old, and taken out of the way. Guys, I hope that's been a blessing. Listen to this again. I hope I didn't say it too confusing. But we have demonstrated once again that the, the first century covenantal transition was a reality between 30 and 70 AD. God bless, guys. We'll see you next time.